help me, describe to me how you came to work uh, with the NAACP Inc. Fund and Thurgood Marshall. How did that come about? Uh, two ways. <clears throat> When I, uh, I, I had at that point, I had a, a master's in law. And I was registered for a doctorate in law at, uh, at uh, Columbia. So I guess I was considered uh, to have some intellectual, um, capability, and I was at that point the most educated of all these people I've been in school, the highest in school. So I was regarded as one that could handle the intellectual needs of the NAACP, and Thurgood, Thurgood Marshall was working for an assistant. I had never heard the NAACP. I didn't know a doggone thing about the NAACP. I didn't know anything about Thurgood Marshall. I'm a country boy. You look here. <laughs> I'm, I'm in Little East Orange, New Jersey at the point. Naive, I don't know a thing about those, these people. And uh, I guess Bill Hastley, um urged the Thurgood to take me on because what they they wanted to do was to push push against the edges of the law. And Thurgood, who had done that, was now, he didn't have time to do any of that kind of stuff. He was out getting the troops, uh, you know, doing this, that, and the other stuff. So I came along as well. That was what my job was. To, so you were like his so deputy. The intellectual content mm -hmm. that we needed to, to think through and try to push the edges of discrimination. And segregation was, we regarded at that point, segregation was regarded as being the evil. Now, was the uh, focus from the beginning on education in terms yeah. of segregation? That was what... No, well, where, there were other things, but... My primary focus, well, I, 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 I think I was primarily did uh, uh, several things. One was um, uh, interstate commerce segregation. I was working on, on trying to find a way to uh, park that. And the other one was education. That, that was my, my main one. And what, how did the strategy evolve in terms of how you were going to approach breaking down segregation as far as education was concerned? I, I think what I recall is that we had, were about to, to try the law school, fighting segregation in the public schools in, uh, in South Carolina. And segregation had been almost eliminated in terms of law, under the law, and graduate college and the graduate school. But not, it had, segregation had not been, been struck down. The separate but equal doctrine, which you know, they did, you know, the, 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 the community's perception looking at a little, a little segregated school 
and a, a mainstream state school, there'd be no the public perception. Well, the two couldn't be equal. Uh, measuring the alumni, mainstream, little school, no equality. So those were the things. But the doctrine itself was still alive. And um, so that was, a, that, that was the thing that led to Brown versus Board of Education. And we were going to this uh, trial, we're going to trials in, in, in South Carolina. And I came across, I'm reading every program thing I, I could to see what could I find to help in showing that segregation was inferior and that it inhibited the ability of black children to learn. So I came across this study of Otto Kleinberg who was at that time a, a professor of psychology at Columbia, or the head of psychology department. And what he showed was he, the migration of blacks out of the South. And he showed that the longer the children from the segregated South and into the, the Philadelphia school system, the longer they stayed, in Philadelphia, the higher they score in IQ and intelligence tests. So I said, that's it. Uh, and I went to um, Kleinberg, told him we were, we were going to have this case, and would he be my expert? So he said, no, he didn't. Yeah. See, what these people thought was, I think, they thought that we wanted them to get out on a limb, you know, for the cause. And I never wanted to do that. I, what I wanted my experts to do was to stay within their area, because if they got on, if they got out of their area, they'd be no no better off than they wouldn't be experts. Their words would be no better than, you, than yours or mine. So I insisted that they do that. Stay within your field all the time. So the, the study that I felt showed that segregation inhibited the kill children and that was the thesis of Brown. 